Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can deploy or how we can start an instance of QTS Cloud from the AWS Marketplace. Okay, so let's start. Uh, first, you have to go to the AWS Marketplace and search for QTS Cloud. Okay, you can go to the AWS Marketplace uh, uh, landing page and you can just click here and search for QTS Cloud. Once you search, you will see the QTS Cloud option in the search results. Uh, there is only one uh, QTS Cloud product, so it will not be difficult for you to find it. Once you find it, uh, you uh, click on that uh, QTS Cloud and you will be redirected to this page. Now, this is the QTS Cloud uh, uh, AWS Marketplace uh, page and uh, you can see all the details here. here. And uh, uh, it's important to uh, highlight that QTS Cloud comes under BYOL category, that is bring your own license. Uh, that means when you subscribe for QTS Cloud from the marketplace, you will just have to pay for the infrastructure cost. So even if you scroll down and if you go to the pricing section, you can see that the software per hour cost is nearly zero. And it's because you don't have to pay for the software cost to the AWS. You will pay the software cost directly to us. That's why it shows zero. Okay. Uh, you just have to, when you subscribe, you just have to pay for the infrastructure that is the ec2 instance and the uh, storage cost okay so having said that let's start uh, deploying or let's start uh, creating an instance of qts cloud first is you can just click on continue to subscribe uh, if you want to change anything you can just go down uh, you can change your region uh, for the sake of this video i'll keep it the same as it is and if you want to change your instance type, you can do that as well. So uh, maybe let's say I would like to, for the sake of this video, let's go for a simple uh, two virtual core machine with eight MB RAM, so M4 dot large. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. And <clears throat> uh, yeah, so you don't have to do anything else. You just select the instance that you want and choose your region. And besides that, if you need any information, all the information is provided here. The videos, uh, the tutorial, uh, everything is provided here. So you can click on those links and see uh, any information you need. <clears throat> okay, so click on uh, continue to subscribe. So once you go there, uh, you will be able to see the other details like our uh, uh, you, uh, end, end user license agreement as well and customer uh, uh, agreement, AWS customer agreement, and AWS privacy notice. Uh, I will not go into these things because, uh, you know, they are, uh, uh, I mean, uh, they don't, uh, 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 we don't want to cover these things in this uh, tutorial. We mainly want to show you how to, sub, uh, how to start the instance. So you can continue on uh, to, uh, uh, you can click on continue to configuration. And once you do that, uh, again, uh, there is, uh, there are a few options for you to uh, configure the software. You don't have to change anything here. Just click, choose the options which are provided. Again, the region if you want, you can change, but we'll not do that. And you can see the instance that you have chosen uh, is, uh, I mean, uh, it's showing C4.2x large, but uh, I think this is, uh, uh, we can change later as well. So you continue to launch click on continue to launch and here uh, you can decide whether you want to launch it from this website or you do want to launch it from EC2 doesn't matter both process are going to be same so let's click on uh, launch from website once you launch from website uh, instance uh, I think we changed to M4 large so let's keep M4 large for the sake of this video and uh, you can choose any other instance uh, so it's up to you vpc settings you don't have to do anything subnet settings uh, you don't have to do anything for security group uh, you can just choose a launch uh, wizard one i did not uh, create this this was already there so i think every time you uh, uh, create a, or launch an instance a default uh, or a security group corresponding to your instance will be created so uh, the launch uh, this uh, security group already considers the uh, security settings that we suggest okay so you can change it later that's that's completely fine but for for 
at, at the moment you don't have to do anything so you just keep it launch wizard okay a key pair setting is something uh, that uh, you know it's necessary for uh, for us to create although for QTS cloud you will not need it but because AWS requires us to create a key pair setting so let's create one and it's very simple uh, you can just click on this create a key pair in EC2 and you will be redirected to the EC2 console and just click on create key pair and enter a key pair name let's say I'll give trial key pair and choose your file format let's keep it PEM and cre uh, create key pair okay so it says the key pair already exists so let's give it some other name uh, let's give it my name it doesn't matter and create key pair and uh, yeah just save and you can save it so that's it that's all you have to do uh, as I said if for QTS cloud you will not require to use this key pair at any point of time but we have to do it because it's necessary step so you can do it and yes after you click on the refresh button you can choose the key pair asim and you can review your settings once before going ahead and uh, you can just click on the launch button and once you click on the launch button you can see congratulations an instance of the software is successfully deployed on ec2 what you can do is you can view this instance in the ec2 console so let's just click on ec2 console and we will be able to see this instance so you can see this instance is this one which is initializing so you can give it some name let's say uh, a scene demo okay <coughs> sorry so yeah so you can give it the, uh, the uh, name so that it becomes easy for you to identify your instance once you do that you can see the ip address is here so you just click on the ip address and go to the browser and enter the ip address and please enter the port 8080 okay so once your instance will be ready you will be redirected to the qts cloud uh, initialization page okay i think it's still initializing so maybe it can take one minute or something uh, when you create a new instance uh, normally uh, it will take around one minute or uh, one to two minutes for starting your instance so that's that's completely fine it's just one time thing so uh, you don't have to bother about it as well as well okay so let's try again and uh, copy to clip uh, and enter 8080 port and yeah as you can see so the instance has started and you will be redirected to the qts cloud uh, initialization page but remember one thing we have not attached a volume and i wanted to show you this uh, step specifically because so far i just created the instance i just uh, uh, launched the instance directly okay so that's why you can see here initialization requires more than 48 gb of disk space okay and if you want to have a storage pool you need 200 gb of disk space so as i said before itself we have not added any volume yet so let's do one thing let's go back here and add one volume at least one volume to our instance so what i'll do is i'll go to volumes and uh, just remember this uh, uh, remember this your availability zone is us east 1c i will tell you why you need it later okay so remember us east 1c okay so let's go to volumes and create a new volume uh, let's create a new volume and that's where we need to know the availability zone our availability zone for the volume should be the same as the availability zone for the instance so let's go to us east 1c okay this is very important keep your availability zone same as the the one that you have chosen for your instance okay and increase let's say 200 gb will attach a volume of 200 gb and let's give it some name tag which is the same as we gave to the our uh, we gave to our uh, instance okay so let's say a scene demo and create volume that's it so you your volume is ready now all you have to do is just attach this volume to your instance so let me show you this instance now this is the instance a scene demo you can see if you scroll down you can see that uh, 
right now there's only one block device that is there's only one volume uh, dev sda1 and this is the volume where your you know uh, qts cloud image is stored okay and um, what we will do is we'll attach a new volume so go to the volume section here select your volume this one that we just created okay 200 gb and uh, by the way this is the volume uh, which uh, where your uh, instances uh, um, uh, vo uh, 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 image QTS cloud image is stored okay so this is that volume it's 1 GB in size okay so we have to attach a new 200 GB uh, volume so click on this and click on action and attach volume and when you click on attach volume you can attach it to any instance in US East 1C that's why I said you know we have to keep your we have to keep our uh, instance and volume in the same region so if i click here you can see there is one instance only at the moment a scene demo so i choose that instance okay and i just click on attach <coughs> okay so once i do that my volume will be attached to my instance so you can see here this is the instance and if we if we scroll down a new volume will be attached to this instance so let me select this one let me go down and you can see a new instance uh, a new volume has been attached initially there was only one this is the one which contains the image and this is the one for your data okay so a new one is already attached so all you have to do is just go here and refresh <coughs> And you can see once you click on refresh, you will be redirected to the QTS cloud uh, installation page and you can just click on start small uh, smart installation and you will be asked to enter the license key. And uh, I'm not going to cover how to enter the license key and how to initialize it, uh, how to initialize and further steps because we have covered that into a separate video. You can find that video in the description. Uh, as well okay so that is how uh, you know we uh, we create an instance of uh, QTS cloud from the AWS marketplace most of the steps are very similar to our previous video where we showed you how to create an instance from the community AMI uh, but uh, the only difference is the user interface uh, in the beginning part of uh, you know how you select your instance and how you subscribe so that's how you know uh, you do it and uh, that's all we are going to show in today's video so thanks for watching and guys uh, please do share your feedback with us do let us know whether uh, you know this helps you or not and if you have any special request uh, do share with us we'd love to help you out and uh, we are looking forward uh, to uh, uh, seeing more feedback uh, from you guys uh, thank you for watching